Hello! Welcome to my channel. My name is Allison. I make cleaning and lifestyle videos every week. Make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss any videos. Today I'm doing a product review. I'm going to be reviewing Scrubbing Bubbles. This is a bubbly bleach gel. It's hard to say. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly bleach gels. Scrubbing Bubbles bubbly beach gels is what I am reviewing. Um, it says it's a citrus scent and it foams and refreshes. This is to clean your toilet bowl. Um, you can see it has a nice little snake head, which I think is pretty nice. The packaging's cute. It's got the little scrubbing bubble guy on it, which I like. I always like those little dudes. It's got nice bright colors. It's got the nice neck. It's got this little twist cap here at the top. I'm going to put the price over here so you have an idea of how much this costs. I think it's a little bit on the expensive side. Not super expensive, but it might be a little bit more on the high end. Um, it does say that it is a tw it's 24 ounce bottles, what this is here. Which I think it's a little bit more, I think it's a little bit larger than the ones I normally use, so the price might actually balance out in the long run. It also does show that they have a little um, gel that goes along with it on the back of the bottle that you can use in conjunction with this if you want to get that gel as well. Um, it does say it's dye-free and contains no phosphorus, so if that matters to you, that is something to keep in mind. So it's not going to dye your toilet seat, so that's good to know. But I do like the idea of this sort of twisty cap. I think this will be pretty effective in getting underneath things. I don't know how much if stuff's going to get kind of caught in here and maybe stick to the bottle, but we'll find out when I actually use it. I've never used this before. I did purchase it with my own money, so I'm going to try it out. It'll be kind of a first impression to show you how I like this or don't like it, and I will give you my honest opinion on whether or not I like it. But I think it does as good a job as what I usually use, which I normally use the Lysol brand toilet bowl cleaner, but I do like to try other things. Um, I have used vinegar as well in the past, but I've always kind of gone back to Lysol when I've tried other things. But I've never tried this one, so we're going to try it together and see how it goes and see if it works well and if it's something I would or would not recommend for you. Let me know down in the comments below too if this is something that you have tried. I'm curious to hear what your opinions are about this product. And yeah, well, let's go ahead and get cleaning. Oh, I did want to actually smell it before I actually used it just to give you an idea of what the scent is like, so I'm going to go ahead and untwist the cap. It does have a child safety cap on it, so that's good to know if you have kids. It should be pretty safe. Um, I don't think your kids are going to get into this because I'm having trouble opening it, so just something to keep in mind. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I take the little cap off. The cap has just the two little buttons on the side that you kind of push down. Try to get it to focus. It has two little things that you push down and twist, and then this is what it looks like underneath the cap. Okay, it really does not smell anything like citrus to me. I really don't like the scent. It's really kind of a strong chemical scent to me. Well, it might smell different to me once I get it out of the bottle, but in the bottle it really almost feels like it's kind of burning my eyes because the scent is so strong. Now obviously you're not supposed to just put this in your nose and sniff it, but for the video I wanted to give you an idea of the scent. So right now I do not like the scent, so that is something to um, just have noted in the back of your mind. Not recommending the scent so far, but it might be a really great cleaner, so we'll find out. I'm going to start by putting on some gloves. So I've got my bowl. It's not super dirty, but it is a little dirty, so I'll kind of give you an idea of how I think it's working or not working. And I'm using a pretty good amount. So I'm using a pretty good amount, and so far it looks like it's actually a clear product. It's not colored, so it is a little bit hard to see where you're putting it. I'm putting down a lot just to make sure that I'm getting good coverage with this product. And generally, I, I kind of prefer colored toilet bowl cleaners just because you can see exactly where it's going. So that is kind of another thing I'm not liking about this product so far. And I can see some bubbles in the bowl, so it is kind of bubbling um, just in where the water is at. And I'm still kind of feeling the same way about the scent. I really don't like the scent. It's strong. It's making my eyes burn a little bit. I don't know if you can see that there's some redness just from sniffing that initial scent that whatever is in this I don't like. So that is something to keep in mind as well if you're sensitive to strong smells. So I've cleaned my bowl, and it did do a really good job of cleaning it. It got everything. I didn't have to scrub really hard. It kind of just knocked everything loose. You can see everything is really nice and clean looking inside the bowl where I put the product. So it does do a good job as far as cleaning. It got, you know, anything stuck on was off very quickly. However, I really don't like the scent of this product. I thought the price point was kind of high. 
And I'm also not a fan of the fact that it's a clear product. I'm, I'm just used to colored toilet bowl cleaners, I guess, at this point. So I hate giving a bad review to something, but I really can't say that I recommend this product. I'd probably only give it maybe a two out of five stars. I'm going to knock off a point for the smell, and I'm knocking off a point because the price is high, and I'm knocking off a price for the color. I want something that's colored, that's going to smell good, and it's a reasonable price, and I don't think that this product offers those. And this might, and you might have a different experience with this product. You might really like it. It may work really well. It does seem to clean really well, and I did like the snake bottle design. I think that's really smart. So that is something that you might want to consider too when you're looking at this product. For me, it was kind of a fail, but I will keep using this just to use it up on my toilet for a while. And I know at this point that I'm going to probably go back to the Lysol, which is what I normally use and I know that I like. Um, I have used other products by Scrubbing Bubbles and I have liked some of them, so it kind of just depends. A lot of cleaning products are kind of hit and miss. It just depends on what you get from that line. And I think this might be one of those things where this just isn't the right fit for me. They do make another toilet bowl cleaner that I have not tried, so maybe sometime in the maybe sometime down the road I may try that other product. But this just isn't it for me, this product. I just don't like it. So, And I always want to be honest with you. If I find something and I don't like it, I want to tell you so you know maybe to save your money and buy something else. So I hope this review was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe down below because I always need new subscribers. And thank you so much for coming by. And I hope you all have a beautiful day today. Bye!